understand yet? Yes, he is, but he doesn't want to be disturbed by you. I just wanted to check one more thing. Oh, hold on. Mr. Higgins, can Norman Rockworth drop in for a moment? Yes, I know. I told him. He just wants to check one more thing. Yes, sir. Thanks. Mr. Higgins, thanks for giving me this opportunity. Warner, will you please stop thanking me? That's, um, it's Norman, sir. Huh? Well, my first name is, it's Norman, not Warner. Did you want something? I just want to check, make sure you didn't have any changes to the presentation. Are you serious? I gave you my private number. You called me seven times over the weekend. Do you recall waking me on Sunday? Well, sir, I, you know, we all worked very hard on this project, and I think everything is in order. Great. Don't let me down. I won't, sir. You have a nice day. Thanks, I will. Hey, you hear the one about the priest, the lawyer, and the whole lot? No, I don't <laughs> think I heard that one. But... <laughs> honest, Jennifer, you know, I hope you're being selective with whom you decide to tell that joke. It is sort of contrary to what you and I are supposed to represent in this company. <laughs> Norman, you have two interviews after lunch, and remember, you rescheduled that training session for this afternoon. I almost forgot. Hey, you have the slides finished for this morning's presentation? I have like 15 minutes, don't I? Come on, don't do this to me. Chill, man, you'll have your precious slides. Do you have anything else? Yeah, you have a uh, um, Corinne Delgado from Investment Banking waiting to see you. Corinne Delgado? She she doesn't have an appointment, does she? No, but she seems very upset. Well, how upset? You're the expert, Norman. Well, I'm not gonna open fire on my co-workers, Mr. Rockworth. I just need to see you very badly. Can I close the door? Well, you see, I have this huge meeting this morning, and it would be much be better if we could wait till later in the day when I can give you my full attention. 